What's up everybody? Welcome to door number 15 of the advanced calendar. Welcome to the workshop What are free impositions? I have uploaded several videos like this one, like that one and also door number 12 of the advanced calendar which are called free imposition. Today I want to talk about what free impositions are and I want to go into the details about the free imposition. So let's begin with the fun. The fun in a free imposition is very high. It makes so much fun to play a free imposition but it makes much more fun than actually a drum solo because in a drum solo I have to follow things that are, don't exist in the free impositions and I want to talk about that later in this video. So the fun is really really great in a free imposition. The next reason why I like to play f the free impositions is they are the highest art of making music, believe me or not. They are the highest art of making music because there are no restrictions at all. You can play what you want, you can play anything that you want and you don't have to think about what do I play next, blah, blah, blah. You have to play what you want and that's something that is absolutely amazing. The next thing that makes uh, free improvisation so much fun is that you don't have to play beats, rhythms and grooves and that is really interesting and makes so much fun because in a free improvisation a beat or groove or rhythm doesn't exist and it would be a normal improvisation about a rhythm, beat or groove when the improvisation is based on a groove but that doesn't exist in a free improvisation so the beats, grooves and rhythms don't play any role in the free improvisations and that makes a free improvisation really great. The next thing that I enjoy so much in a free improvisation is it doesn't have any structure. So that means the structure doesn't exist. And what do I mean by it? the structure? Well, I can say I play part A, part B, part C, part D, whatever, and make it some in the different ways. So like part D, A, C, B, whatever, but that doesn't exist in a free imposition because then it would be also a normal type of free imposition or so that doesn't exist because then it would be a drum solo. The next thing that I enjoy about free imposition is, is that I don't have to choose any tempo. So that means the free improvisation can be played slow, it can be played really fast, it can be really slow, it can be ultra fast. The only time that the tempo is important in a free improvisation is the start tempo of the free improvisation because the free improvisation must start in a tempo that you choose and then you don't have to think about it anymore and that is so great and that makes a free improvisation so much fun. And 
Now I want to talk about what is really important for a free imposition. So the first thing is the emotions and open heart. So the free improvisation can be morphed into from the emotions you have into the instrument to play and uh, when you have feelings or you feel, don't feel good or you're in anger or you're angry and you play your instrument in a free improvisation be really careful don't destroy your instrument just make the impro make just make the emotion so strong that you play your instrument but you don't destroy your instrument that's really important because you have spent so much money on your instrument and it would be not good if you destroy your instrument with the emotions you have and actually there's the open heart the open heart is also really important because without an open heart and and that is also very important for a drum solo when you don't play the free improvisation and the drum solo with an open heart it will sound not good so the open heart needs to be transformed also in the emotions that you have and you want to express them and that is really important for the drum solo and free improvisations then there's a thing that's less important but it is important are and uh, there's one thing that's also important but it's not are the dynamics the dynamics are important when you are in a small environment because you then play very low dynamically but when you are in a larger environment you play real loud but you can play also very low in volume and that doesn't depend really it's um, the emotions are depending on you another thing that is really important is the moment when you stop to play the free improvisation or when you finish the free improvisation that is also very important and that can be in any ways because a free improvisation can be played short it can be played long it can be played really long or really short it just matters on you when you stop or finish to play the free improvisation and uh, yeah that is really really important as well and it can sound really interesting because there are unlimited options to stop the free improvisation or to finish the improvisation there is no limit at all so it can sound uh, really interesting for everybody when you play the free improvisation and then you stop just suddenly you stop and the free improvisation is finished and yeah it's really interesting then the thing about free improvisation is that uh, they are not so much important than a drum solo because drum solos are really important for a good drummer but the free imposition is just uh, not so much 
important at all because you don't always play the free improvisations at all. You just play them sometimes. You just play them sometimes and uh, but then you can play them really really crazy and uh, you can play the weirdest strangest stuff you want to play ever and then it is really 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 cool and uh, another thing that is very interesting would be where the free improvisation can be used in the context or the context that the free improvisation is in so a free improvisation can be made alone so like a solo type of gig or concert so you play the free improvisation by yourself and you present it to the people or it can be played with with several musicians so you have a band and then you play the free improvisation and all other musicians play the free improvisations that they want to play and uh, that can be called free jazz so that means in a jazz environment or jazz con context the free improvisation can be used and can be ex an uh, expression into the feelings and emotions of the musicians that are involved into the jazz music or in that concert and uh, that is really 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 interesting and it can sound really strange because you play this and the other musicians play that and some other musicians play another thing and that can be really chaos like really strange and weird but at the other hand it can sound really really great and uh, so yeah the free impositions are absolutely incredible amazing and uh, as i have said it i really like to play those um, free improvisations so that's what i wanted to say in this video but before i finish this video it's time for you to subscribe so please subscribe and also click the bell button so that you don't miss any other videos that i will upload in the future so again please click the subscribe button click the bell button so you don't miss any videos that i will upload the next time all right thanks for watching thanks for subscribing Thanks for anything and we will see us tomorrow. Bye-bye.